Are you a morning or a night person? I'm definitely a night person, um, especially because my best friend, he works from 5 at night to 5 in the morning, so I'm up just when he's gone, and that gives me a lot of time to do what I need to do, and also, I just, when he comes home, I just talk to him, and then we both go to bed, so, uh, I've always been a night person, I've actually admired people that get up in the morning because uh, when you're a night person you don't see as many people that's you know but you, you have to uh, alter your uh, sleeping cycle to get things done sometimes anyway have you ever skinny dipped uh, I'm too much of a prude to even think about that uh, Autobots or Decepticons oh. Why, why didn't you mention Transformers? Because uh, there's, there's more than meets the eye with Transformers. And I don't really... Autobots, I guess. I'm not into that at all. Uh, have you ever shoplifted? Honestly, I used to shoplift my junior year of high school. I think my senior year, too. Anyway, I... I probably about a hundred dollars worth of merchandise uh, just uh, hope no one I know in real life sees this um, is mostly uh, candy bars and that kind of thing and I mean uh, kids in school told me it was so easy and so fun to do and uh, I what one time I uh, got caught and the manager threatened me, so that scared me stiff. I didn't do it again after that. Um, are you a collector of anything? Well, I guess, well, when I was a kid, I collected basically anything with Simp Simpsons on it. I loved The Simpsons, and now I still kind of collect it, but I'm not as hardcore about it. Uh, and there's so much stuff with The Simpsons on it now, so it's kind of ridiculous. But I I, a collection that I started this last summer is I collect jar mugs and that sounds bizarre right um, this is one I'll just hold on real quick this one has a recipe on it go cool, huh? it says ling bread lemonade and see it's a mug and it's a jar. That's why they call it a jar mug. You know what? It's probably bizarre to you, but I think they have a lot of character. They have a lot of personality. And one thing I like is character. Um, that's one of the main things I like artistic wise is if something has a lot of character to it. If it looks really worn and been through World War II, you know, and it's really, uh, it looks like it's been through hell, you know, I think it has a lot of character to it. Anyway, I don't have much time, so I have to go through these quicker. If you're any animal, what would you be? That's a hard question because I don't, I have never thought about that before. Probably a rodent or something really small because I've always been fascinated with, I, um, 25 going on 26 next Friday um, actually yeah seven days from now next Friday um, uh, it'd be like a, a rodent someone really small because uh, I used to watch Chippendale's Rescue Rangers and uh, the Littles and that kind of thing I've always been fascinated with uh, being small like like this big and I, one thing I really loved about Chippendale's Rescue Rangers is they would make stuff out of stuff that people, they would find stuff uh, in, in the trash and what humans used like rubber bands and paper clip, clip and then that would be a bow and arrow and um, they would have a bed and it would be a matchbook and then they would pull it out a little bit and that would be their bed and they would use a cotton ball for a pillow and I thought that was so cool. The coolest thing about being small, uh, off topic, 
is, in my opinion, is like food would be huge. I mean, can you imagine like having one of those hostess cupcakes and having it be like as big as a freaking house almost? Like it wouldn't be as big as a house, it would be as big as a couch, you know, and or an Oreo. I mean, that's what I would do. I would be the fattest little thing ever because of the food would be huge. Um, what is your first thought when you wake up? Uh, probably that I have to go to the bathroom and then uh, uh, probably wherever my best friend is, I'd be wondering where he is. And that's it. I wear a retainer at night, so I would be taking it out of my mouth. Uh, and then the next thing is when I'm falling asleep, um, is what I have to do the next day. Uh, and I'd be putting my retainer in my mouth. It's a habit that I have. I've been wearing it for almost 10 years now. Um, or 10 years, I don't remember. Um, do you believe in extraterrestrials? I think that the human species would be really vain to think that we're the only ones. Um, on the other hand, I never I never think about it. And everybody that says that they've been abducted by aliens, they look like they have cog loose, and they look like they just want attention. And some people they write books about it. And it's like, well, you just think you just want a way to make money, and you don't you didn't, weren't really abducted. So that's what I think about that. Have you ever lied to your partner, spouse, significant other in a major way? Um, I'm I don't have one of those, so I'm going to use my best friend as, as an example because we're practically that. Um, I've never lied to him in a major way, like money or if I did something he wouldn't like. I have lied to him because it's just I know he'd be upset with me that I did something that is against his morals so it's just better for me to not tell him I'm mostly a cleaner messy person um I am as far as hygiene where we live it's good the reason why we're messy is because of we don't have a place to put anything and that's going to change we're going to get furniture um, and that's the reason why we'd be messy because we don't have a place to put stuff. I do like it when stuff has a shelf or something like that to put up, put it up because it just looks nicer. But I'm not OCD about it. If you could visit anywhere in the world, where would you go? I actually, people don't know this about me. When I was about, I was eight years old. Old the summer I was going into third grade we went on a six week trip to Europe and most of the time it was in Denmark because my great grandfather from my mom's side and my great grandma came from Denmark and so we spent a lot of time there I would like to revisit Europe and I'd like to visit England and that whole area China would be interesting too um, I wouldn't want to go to Australia because it's so hot, even though it's fascinating, but, anyway. Uh, moving on. Five goals on your life's to-do list. Uh, that's a good question. Five on your life's to-do do list. Um, to be, I, we already did a want list, but it's basically uh, establishing myself as an artist, being financially independent, having my own car and a dr driver's license, um, having, if everything goes well, being a foster mom. Uh, have getting a life, I don't like the word life partner, but life partner's girlfriend, lifetime girlfriend. Um, just establish myself financially, getting a 401k and all that stuff so 